Hey everyone. Uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to that game. Cry O Fear. So, uh, I just had a little recording snafu fuck up. Uh, definitely my fault. Um, but we're getting back in now. Or we will be when the game load. Uh, uh. Hey, all right. Park roughs. Okay. Fuck. I had it like partially clicked out. Okay. See, so yeah, I've actually um recorded the first part of this already. I was talking about how I'm not even sure if this game is going to go up in spook month. Uh, and I think already we're at the end of October. Dead man's here. Yippee skip. Something that I was talking about. I legitimately adore this fucking monster design. Authentically. Um, it's so just fucking strange. A little top off here. Uh, like, it's, it's legitimately freakish. It's so grotesque. And one of the things about Sun Hill, and like, no knock against this game or Sun Hill, they are two different games that both know what they want. But in Sun Hill, sometimes you're looking at something that is so odd that you're not even sure if it's human. And there are still great monster designs to be found within those. But in this game, everything is a humanoid shape, as far as I remember. You're always fighting a human, so. A, uh, a cutscene that, even when this game was well loved, was hated, is here. What the? Sophie? What the hell are you doing here? Well, hi, Simon. <laughs> what? I don't. I don't understand anything now. What is it that you don't understand? What do you think? The whole fucking city is crawling with monsters, and I just. Suddenly you just turn up on these rooftops? <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Monsters? Simon, you're scaring me. Scaring? What the fuck? This is just sick. It really looks kind of like Remy Malik here. Well, I, maybe it's just... Let's talk about something else. How have you been? I, I don't know. I'm just confused. You? Not too bad, thank you. Better now that you're here. Yeah. I'm. I'm glad you're here too, Sophie. I've been alone all this time. <laughs> I see. I've been so alone. Sounds tough. But what about yourself? I feel like Moonlight's Why are you here? Playing. Are you hiding up here from those things? No. I really don't understand what you're talking about. I'm just thinking. Thinking? Monsters? Yeah, I've been. They look like a lot of that too. Monsters to you? Do you remember how you got here? I don't know. I just. I woke up myself, but it wasn't an alley and. Was I can probably alley. show you. No, hush, Simon. Can't we just sit here for a while? Uh. Yeah. Sure. He 
looks so I think something? it's because his hood up is all the time. Yes. Yes, I do. I want to know just what in the fuck is going on here. Dude, that's what... Is it about that doctor guy uh, in the gas mask? Doctor? Simon, please. Dude, she's clearly not no, talking I mean about, about that. Oh. Yeah? What? Well, I don't know if you knew, but I always had a hard time at school. You were, well, you were pretty much the only guy who was kind to me. I never said it, but I really want to thank you for making my life a little bit more bearable. You're a cute guy, Simon. Yeah. She thinks I'm cute. Yeah, you do have it pretty well. Thank you. Yeah. One can draw parallels here to Silent Hill 2 again. I guess I helped you because I liked you. Because the ending cutscene of the game the opens with James, you made me happy. I don't know, I just I guess I wanted to protect you. I don't love you, but I think I could if we got to know each other better. You're so beautiful, Sophie. <laughs> Why haven't you said anything? I never had the courage. I I mean I wasn't exactly the toughest kid in school, was I? But now we're here alone, I I feel stronger. <laughs> I've always liked you, Sophie. Oh, Simon, I don't know what to say. I always liked you too, but not in that way. I always thought that you were just a friend, nothing more. <laughs> this is such an awkward cutscene. JPEG. That's so. That. Oh my God. That's so obviously a JPEG. But. Oh shit. Damn. So much stuff has happened lately. Shit. Damn. All this craziness, the darkness, and and the monsters. Is the darkness really crazy. that unusual, Simon? You live in. I'm so glad I found you. You live in Sweden, right? Don't they have long nights in the in the winter? Yeah. Really. Was it you who tried to phone me, by the way? Yeah, I wanted to talk to you. To get away from it all. Oh, but, but what? Out here? No, away from everything. Away from all this. What? What do you mean? You know full well what I mean. Wait a second. No, I'm really dense. What do you mean? No! <laughs> no! So, uh, themes of the game. Suicide. That guy has a uh, uh, deformed, malnourished body and uh, stubby little legs, so he can't walk. Oh, that was fun. I feel like playing this game on um, 
easy mode kind of changes how that boss fight's supposed to go. But I feel like he also got glitched out and his AI didn't work right, so you know. I, I don't think that this is canon. I can't imagine why it would be. Okay, so that is modeled correctly. Sorry, I got distracted there. But I always like to imagine that um, it's a bunch of balloons holding him up. Slip off here. Oh, you can see her. See, so yeah, this character just literally shows up to be like, I'm sad, by the way. I will now die and uh, commit suicide. Kind of like. You know, why don't I rotate my saves? Since I might actually have to go back on a recording. Oh, it's the glass I'm walking in that's making that noise. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm going to take a short recording break because I want to watch that cutscene back and make sure that it got in perfectly. Hey gang, um, so we're back. I uh, started to record again and then realized that I uh, forgot a plot crucial key item. So instead of just running back, I just loaded the save and acted like nothing happened. But... <sighs> Seriously, you can fucking stub your toe on things. Oh, another wheelchair accessible thing. So you can actually liken, um, carcass to someone in a wheelchair. I know something's over here because I just paid an area. Um, and obviously this isn't my opinion about people in wheelchairs, but Carcass is this, uh, gnarled, ugly hunk of meat. Sophie. Simon, let me go. I love you. I love you, Sophie. I have to leave. Please. I fucking love Just you. Just let me go, Simon. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward. Okay. For fuck's sake. I can't use her, I guess? Okay. So if I remember correctly, um... Chapter 4 is actually one of the worst in the whole game. And yeah, I'll be coming back for the nice stick because I don't want to miss that. Oh yeah, it turns out you can actually miss the nightstick. They just have a second one. So yeah. Um, first of all, kind of interesting that the game just like starts a new chapter in the middle of an area. Because normally there's like a big obvious load door after the boss fight. A generic key card with TL trading on it. I'm gonna go back for the next stick. <sighs> like, I get that inventory management puzzles are a thing, but I don't think weapons should be a part of that. I would much prefer, like, anything else. Or, or maybe just, like, you can always have a melee weapon that doesn't take up a slot. Because, like, what does the game expect to happen if... Like, for instance, let's say... The player finds themselves without any ammunition. But they drop the nightstick to do a puzzle. Like... 
I, I feel like that's the problem here, you know? And like, I'm hitting the Q button. Q does nothing in this game. And it's a very easy to hit button, you know, it's right next to the mouse. You know, maybe that should be the quick melee to make the mouse make a little more sense. But like, they do have a quick melee. So why do you even need melee weapons? Why not just emphasize the use of using quick melee? Because normally the reason, like the, the thing about uh, shooters in the past is that Half-Life has the crowbar, you know? And if you want to hit something close to you with a with a, a weapon and not use ammo, you take out the crowbar. And Doom has the fist, you know? And Doom guy will punch stuff because the Doom Marine is fucking jacked. What the fuck? So, I don't know if you saw there, but uh, one of those guys just blew his own head off. It was this one. God. Like, yeah, it's a- it's a- it's a creepy looking enemy, but like... Yep, he did it again. But the fact that it's like this enemy with a fucking bag on his head... Like, it just... it's just a little weird, you know? Oh yeah, I looked up what this meant. Apparently this means rabbits. Everyone loves rabbits. And like, not everyone loves rabbits, guys. My wife doesn't, but only because she has a crippling allergy to them that will kill her if she's in close enough proximity, you know? And that's a valid reason to not want to be around rabbits, you know? If they will literally kill you, like if rabbits are your actual kryptonite. So I feel like I've found the uh, critical path to the objective pretty quick here. I'm just checking this area because it's a big area. And presumably this is a big area so you can do your big, like, doom shootout with all the guys. I've gotta say... That enemy is so weird. It's another decent design. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I just remembered how this puzzle works. You have to fucking drop everything on the floor. You have to run back. And you have to get all the fucking fuses out of that out of that fucking thing. Oh man. Yeah, if I remember right, this is one of the reasons that uh this 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 area this area sucks. Oh boy. Hey, so there was a weird noise and I had to check what it was. Uh turns out that my upstairs neighbors are just vacuuming. Okay. okay. So we have to go back to one of these buildings and they have the fuses in them. God. 
See, those enemies are called suiciders because God, why bother being subtle? I, I, I legitimately just got bummed out because I remembered how shitty this fucking fuse thing is. Saxon Avenue. You all know it. It's the chainsaw man. Did we do this scene? Splash to the ground. Yeah, didn't we already have a scene where the chainsaw man is uh, chasing us through the streets and, uh, well. Oh, oh my god, I got I got stuck there because that landed on my head. <laughs> uh, of course. I don't uh don't have the uh melee thing because I dropped it. very Dark Souls right here of like hmm I see a hallway from back here I wonder if there's going to be an enemy standing in it and there always is like of course there is why wouldn't there be this is actually a pretty nice area shit locked the fact that you can see the city is a little weird because one of the things about Silent Hill and I know I keep bringing it up but this is this game is literally an homage series to Silent Hill and, and of course, Silent Hill is itself an homage to a bunch of other horror games and stuff, like um, horror movies, I should say, like the works of David Lynch or uh, is Jacob's Ladder a David Lynch uh, movie? Because <laughs> I was going to say David Lynch movies and Jacob's Ladder, but I don't actually know if, like, I, d I don't know if that's a distinction I need to make. I feel like I'm going to be booed here. I think a monster's gonna jump out and go boop. Yeah! The VIP 70. So it's a, a it's a pistol with a um uh, a stock on it. And like it's a perfectly fine gun. However, what the fuck, right? Like, it, it, it's a burst weapon. Like, those aren't good, so I'm just kind of going to leave it on the ground. It is really annoying that um, you just can't jump if you don't have stamina. So yeah, I like I can't do the jumping puzzle because I just gotta fucking wait here and wait for my stamina to come back. Like Jesus, what a what a mysterious game. Now, here the game is going to try to break some new ground by uh, putting us into an apartment building. But get this, right? This time the apartment building is really dark. Like, there, there's that joke about how, like, horror movies that take place in a house are the scariest because, like, I live in a house. And that's a quote I'm, I'm doing there. I don't live in a house currently. And that's okay. Hup. Home's where you make it. Right now, I am the homemaker, so. Yeah. 
There we go. <sighs> oh God. What am I? Okay. I've gotten completely turned around. So my wife being uh, a friend of mine. Although it'd be crazy if I couldn't say that. Like, my wife and I aren't friends. What? Anyway, my wife being a good friend of mine will often be like, hey, how's everything going? But because she like is in the room next to me, she can hear me recording. And so she'll be like, hey, How's Cry of Fear going? Because I know that you're recording that because I hear you do your intros. Um, oh yeah, you guys actually know a little bit more about my wife because she's in the Dishonored LPs. Which have come out now, actually. By the time that this comes out, at least. This is... I'm just gonna pause this here. No, wait, I'll finish my story. Anyway. My wife was like, How you liking Cry of Fear? And she said it way more hesitantly than she normally does. I was like, oh, it's good. And she was like, it sounded like you weren't having fun with it. And I was like, well... I have an alpha. This game is bad. See you guys in the next episode.